family welcome back to the channel i have another exciting home upgrade for you all i recently bought my dream house and i'm turning it into my dream home and one of the biggest things about this home is that even though it's super beautiful it didn't have a backyard okay it did have a backyard but there was nothing back there it was just grass so we couldn't really utilize the outside space so we have a porch in the front beautiful porch i've already decorated that i'll show you guys that in another video but the back we didn't have a backyard so we couldn't go back there so i got in contact with this wonderful company that i found on facebook actually you know how they read your mind when you are thinking about something or <laughs> researching something so i get on facebook and this company pops out of nowhere well a few of them actually and I called and everybody was weeks and weeks and weeks out, right? Some of them were telling me the end of summer, some of them said, you know, two months from now, 10 weeks from now, whatever. The whole night I was like, oh my God, I need to do something back there. I need to have a backyard that is like the backyard, right? So this last one that I called, they're called Brazilian Concrete Contractors. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> but this is a super nice guy. I called him up and I was like, hey, I'm kind of having an emergency situation. I really need a deck in my backyard he was like how soon do you need it i said like yesterday <laughs> so he said he can make it happen but the most important part was that he could start right away and now we're starting our backyard project so the guys are gonna come i don't even know what they're doing back there but i just know that at the end i'm gonna have a beautiful deck in my backyard that i'm gonna decorate and have the backyard of my dreams so i'm gonna be doing this vlog style so let's get started all right family so this is what my backyard looks like there is literally no backyard i can't sit out here i can't like have nadia play out here there's really not a lot we can do back here so i needed to fix that so today is the day the contractors are coming and they are actually called brazilian concrete and this company is ran by marcillo all right, as you can see, the steps are gone. They broke those down and they're gonna utilize this entire space to fill it up. I'm not even gonna tell you the process before we get there, but just keep on watching. All right, so this is another angle. Again, there was nothing here, y'all. There was no way to use this backyard. And one fun fact that you all may or may not know is Adding a deck or a patio to your backyard adds value to your house. That is just more living square footage. And the more fancy it is, or the fancier it is, the more value it adds. So this is what the guys are doing now. So they did go ahead and break that step down. They're gonna go ahead and rebuild it to match whatever um, the height and the length of the new patio is. <laughs> So there was a little bit of a confusion um, between the manager and I as far as the size of the patio. I keep saying deck or patio, but I'm talking about the same thing. How many foot? 24? 24. 30, mm -hmm. yeah. 24? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be 24 foot. So anyway, there was a confusion as to the size. I thought it was going to be bigger than what it was. And the general contractor actually told the workers how big it's supposed to be. And when I saw them start to like fill up the place, I was like, no, it's supposed to be bigger than that. But anyway, we did come to one conclusion and we got the process started. Okay. Yeah. How much? Uh, 30 here. I'll show you. 34, 36, I don't know. All right, family, so this is just my contractor measuring the space out. This is going to be a pretty big patio. I wanna be able to fit all of my family members back here and some friends, especially when I'm having barbecues or just like a outdoor party sitting area and just things of that nature. And this deck or patio is just the first part of my backyard makeover. I want to have such a beautiful backyard, and this is not all gonna happen this year, I'm sure, but I wanna have such a beautiful backyard that 
it is like a whole like resort by itself i want a whole lot of stuff done back here but i'm gonna take it step by step the first thing i want to be able to do is to just come to my backyard and be able to sit down have coffee maybe watch nadia run around the yard you know just have things back here versus a tiny little step that i can just stand on look outside and go back inside <laughs> All right, family, so now I have to choose the stone that I like. There are so many different options. I don't know which one to go with. So, yeah. This is the make or break moment. So I have to be very careful to choose something that I actually like. Yeah. So, I think I like gray. Oh, wow, look at that. That's beautiful. I think I'm more, I'm leaning more towards gray. Um, so this is all cream. There's no gray in it. There's no gray. That like little, little, little dots. Little gray, okay. okay. But those is kind of painting. So once you do the floor or dry, you, you paint it with a separate painting. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I have. What about this? This is, is normal. It's just a step, right? Okay. Can you make the design but with the same color? Okay. So, but you're gonna have the design on one step here. Mm -hmm. Then we have another step for here, right, for the border. Okay. Okay. So that way, just just, just like that looking. That, so like this? Yeah, they're, they're gonna they're gonna look, look, look like yeah. Basically, almost almost like this. That's a little, little bit different. Okay. So yeah. they are making measurements. Did he tell you two, two steps? No. Just no. one? No walk, no walk, two steps. The guy is just telling me and showing me exactly, this is a very, very important part. Before they start to like rip things out and you know, cover the grass with the gravel and dirt, we have to make sure that the measurements are correct and that they make sense. Otherwise, we can do a lot of damage to the yard. So I heavily had to be a part of this um, process. So this step goes here. Yeah. And then patio goes here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so there was a little bit of a confusion here as well. Um, I wasn't really picturing what was going on. So apparently they are only going to build one step. But as you can see here, the height is very high. However, once the one step is built, the second step is actually going to be the patio and that's what i wasn't understanding so i thought we needed two steps oh the patio is going up we are getting there it's gonna be a big one y'all see this they have to lift this they have to lift this part because there's kind of like a slope so that it can be even so see how there is only one plank there but there's two over here that's because they have to lift it up so that it fits look at naya the dog house <laughs> hey girl hi we don't have dogs but these were left here um they're very good ones these are expensive but they left them here so anyway it's coming together. This is gonna be a big one. There's gonna be a little circle right here. And then there's gonna be the step right here. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. We'll finally be able to come to our backyard um, and do stuff. All right, family, so today's another day. They are just covering the spot with dirt do you see how beautiful that grass look? It looks so nice and healthy, but we haven't been cutting it because <laughs> the guys are working back here and it's a lot of it is going to get covered anyway. So we just let it grow. But the best part of the grass is actually the part that is being covered. And so we are trying to manage the grass as well. As you know, we just moved in and um, the grass is not the best, but we are trying our best to get it to where it needs to be. And so, yeah, 
that's that's just what that's about but as you can see here the patio is starting to take shape um there is a slope a little bit of a slope back here as you can see so he had to build it up to where it's leveled but also to where you know if it rained or if there's water on the deck or patio it'll it'll still be able to drain down to the um the grass they are almost done with the dirt and i'm starting to see how it's gonna look it's coming together Ooh, look at this i don't know if i told you of this but there's gonna be a circle right here there's gonna be a circle right here it's called a half moon this is going to be where my fire pit is gonna go so the deck comes out a little more in this area yep I'm so 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 excited y'all I cannot wait I have these visions and like beautiful ideas for patio furnitures and outdoor furnitures and landscaping and garden and all of that fancy stuff and I am so excited to just take this backspace from basically not livable or inhabitable to like a beautiful living space all right, so today they are building the half moon. This spot, I originally was going to have a fire pit, but I watched a lot of videos online and a lot of people were saying, if you can avoid um, putting the hole in the ground for your fire pit, do that because you might change your mind in the future and wanna do something else there and the hole is already there. So there are a lot of beautiful portable fire pits out there on amazon and other websites that you can just buy and put there that way you can switch up the space every year or do whatever you want so i might want to have like a furniture set up in this area next year or i want to make this area the fire pit area or i want to have like those beautiful egg chairs here i can do whatever with the space the guys are doing a great job so i just brought them some water and i'm taking a peek here i can see that they're almost done we're getting to the fun part basically and i'm excited about that all right family so i did take a quick trip so i missed a few days of you know the patio work so when they poured the concrete when they did the design all of that i missed but <laughs> today is the day that they're power washing it to um get it ready to you know put the shiny coat on it so i was here in time to show you all what the design looks like and oh my goodness i am so 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 happy with the design this is not just a big piece of concrete in the backyard this is something that was nicely put together and designed and just it's so beautiful and i cannot wait for you all to see the finished product and i also cannot wait to decorate this thing so you all can see it it is going to be so amazing this is a pretty big patio y'all it is huge and I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but the color matches the, the house. Um, it's just, I love the design and I can paint it too if I wanted. Um, the size, the edges or the size can be painted a different color to bring it out. I can also add walls, right? I can raise it. The edges, I can raise up a little bit. You've seen those patios where it's not just like a flat surface but it also has some areas where there are benches or there are just raised areas i can do that too in the future so right now this is what the patio looks like oh my goodness remember when there was just like grass back here and we couldn't even step outside this is what it looks like now y'all see how it matches the the color of the the siding of the house the house has a brick facade like the front of the house is all brick and then the back has this um siding this like tannish siding and it's so nice this is me twirling again i do this all the time <laughs> it's fun for me but yeah family this is what the patio looks like this angle does not do the patio 
justice this patio is huge but look at my body compared to the rest of the patio that's how you can see or that's how you'll be able to know how big it is it is huge you can fit a whole bunch of people on here this is my tiny little setup right now i have these two chairs and the little table this was actually at my old house my first first house it used to be on the front porch and it was so cute i had like flowers on the table but it's back here now but let me tell you all this family i'm working with a lot of great companies to bring you all some beautiful patio design ideas and this is going to be so so fun i have the living room portion of the patio the dining room portion the lounge area the barbecue area like we're gonna deck this whole thing out and like i said this background or backyard is going to look so beautiful by the time i'm done with it and i'm hoping also that you all can get an idea of what it looks like or get an idea for what you can do with your home as well as you all know i'm starting from scratch and i'm just doing it and learning as i go so i appreciate your comments your feedbacks your tips and tricks on what to do back here i've really never had a huge backyard like this so this is a first for me so i'm this is going to be a learning process for me i just know that it's normal to have a, a spot in the back of your house where you can go and sit so look at my baby now she can ride her bike she can come out here and play we can come out here and barbecue she can put her little you know kiddie pool out here and do things um it just is nice out here the next few videos are going to be all decor videos i'm going to be decorating the patio i'm going to be building a gazebo i'm going to be putting my furnitures up i'm going to be doing some landscaping some gardening oh yeah and my mom is back and she loves loves to garden as well so all of that content is coming up and we're still doing some stuff inside of the house don't forget that so if you like any of these kind of videos at all please make sure your bell notifications are turned on and if you're not a part of the family please 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 hit that subscribe button so you can join the family thank you all again so so much for your love and support and thank you to brazilian concrete for their help and the great job they did here make sure to click the videos that are going to pop up because those are going to be helpful as well thank you all again so so much for your love and support i love you all and i'll see you all in my next one bye